Charlie, to kick this one to you, we've got the Chargers going up against the Jaguars on Saturday in this wild card weekend matchup. Who do you think is going to win and why? So it's kind of tough. They're both almost identical teams in the sense that they both have young, huge arm, big stature quarterbacks that are coming a draft apart. One was drafted three years ago and one was drafted two years ago. They both had uh, head coaching issues. They both don't really have a running game. Both offensive lines are up and down. They both had injuries. Their defenses are mid-level. They both have good pass rushing defenses, but that's about it. The, the Chargers, the past like six games, have been outstanding in defense in comparison to what they were putting out at the beginning of the year. But it's basically... They, they also played back the first six games. Uh, I think it was around week five or six, and the Jags routed them. But the Chargers were beat up. I think that was the game or two after Herbert got his ribs cartilage broken. Like They were a shell of the team that we're seeing now. And it, it really comes down to the, the Jags are pretty much healthy. The Chargers still aren't going to have their left tackle or Sean Slater. He might, he, if they can advance, he probably will be back the next game, uh, which would be huge. But it really comes down to if Mike Williams plays. Because Mike Williams, he Staley put them all in, uh, put all their starters in for like three and a half quarters of that last game. And he went out with back spasm, which there is a back contusion. So he had a back bruise. Uh, if he plays, though, there's not enough defenders to be able to cover Mike Williams. He's an uncoverable player. So with the put the spread right now is what one and a half. Uh, the Chargers. So I guess the they have like that one point home field. Or I guess if it was at home for the Chargers, it'd be like a four point spread. Um, I think the Chargers are going to win in kind of like a one of those medium shootout games of like a 28 to 32. So they'll, if it was a home game, they'd cover the spread. And since it's an away game, they're giving, uh, they're getting points on Jackson. Okay. Floor is yours. Uh, it's, it's weird for me, man. Like this game, like Charlie said, two young quarterbacks, two inexperienced teams. And, you know, both head coaches, I can't even say both because um, Doug Peterson has a Super Bowl with the Eagles from a few years ago. So uh, one head coach is kind of like very inexperienced and very inconsistent with play calling. So I'm, I'm for whatever reason, I don't know if it's AFC South biasness or what. I have Jacksonville winning this game. I just believe that Jacksonville's pass rush has uh, improved over the course of the last few weeks. I think that their secondary has made plays when they needed to. And I think that Trevor Lawrence has been playing at an exceptional level lately. Travis Etienne is finally coming out of his shell and showing everybody uh, his potential. And then I also believe that the wide receiver core of the Jaguars makes plays when they need to. And Evan Ingram has been doing relatively well as uh, also. Um, you know, f for me, it's it's... I think that the Chargers have too many injuries. I think Mike Williams' back spasms or injury contusion, whatever you want to call it, may come back to bite them in the end because, I mean, one of their best receivers is not going to be at full capacity. They've had the injuries to the secondary. They've had multiple injuries to the wide receiver core all season long. The only thing is Austin Eckler is a man amongst boys. I mean, the guy had an incredible season fantasy football-wise, all-purpose yard-wise. I mean, he can run between the tackles. He can catch behind the line of scrimmage. He can just make plays. And with Justin Herbert's arm, I mean, it's really hard to go and bet against L.A., but I don't know what it is. I've been talking to Kyle about this all year. Whenever I have these weird gut feelings, I just have to pick the pick. You know what I mean? And I just feel like Trevor Lawrence is going to be ready for the big stage. All the guy does is win at every level. I know last year he had a pretty atrocious rookie season and campaign, but Urban Meyer was a, a big portion of that to blame, and Doug found a way to turn that around. I think Jacksonville ended the season on a five- or six-game win streak of their own, and, and they found a way to get it done. So um, I got Jacksonville, man, and that's not like me to go and pick the Jags, division rival. Not a team that I like very much, but I just I think that Trevor Lawrence is ready for that next step. And, uh, you know, it's both quarterbacks postseason debut. So it's who's going to come out on top. It's, I'm just very curious. Uh, for me, this is a very tough pick for me, uh, just because I think really both teams have a good chance to win this game. I am going to side with the Chargers, though. I think they will be able to go on the road and get a very close win 
over the Jags. When it comes to both of these teams in general, like both of you guys said already, you know, we're talking about two younger quarterbacks in Justin Herbert and Trevor Lawrence. And I think that's going to be kind of a big factor in this game. So I would not be surprised if we see both quarterbacks early on struggle just because look, the, the lights may be a little bit bright for them at first, knowing that there's a little bit more pressure on this game than just a typical regular season game. And I wouldn't be surprised if we see both teams uh, try to adjust that by running the ball a little bit more effectively with their running back cores, respectively. I just believe that when it comes to the Chargers, I think they're going to have a better time running the football than Jacksonville, simply because when I look at the Jags over the last couple of weeks, they have been giving up some decent uh, rushing uh, attacks against themselves. So if we look to last week against the Titans, they gave up 100 yards plus to Derrick Henry. Now, granted, you know, Derrick Henry is going to get a lot of touches just because that's the, the way that the Titans run their offense. But I think the Chargers can find some exploits in that Jaguars defense and take advantage of them where, you know, you see Austin Eckler possibly, you know, get some five to 10 yard chunk plays throughout the game. I wouldn't be surprised if Austin Eckler gets at least 75 yards rushing on the ground and potentially up to 125 yards as well. Uh, simply just because Austin Eckler is a huge piece of that Chargers offense. And I think if they get him involved in the running game early and they also utilize him out of the passing game extremely well, uh, he's one of the more proficient running backs that you'll ever see in the passing game. And the Chargers do a great job with that, using him in that role. I think it will just open up the offense for the Chargers as a whole. And I think that Jaguars defense, while it can be a very ferocious pass rush, uh, specifically with that Jags front four, maybe you can even throw in their front seven as well. I think the Chargers are going to make some adjustments to try to get that pass rush um, not home. And I think th there's going to be an emphasis on getting the ball early and really getting that pass rush of Jacksonville kind of stymied if they're not able to get Justin on the ground consistently throughout that first half. So to me, it, it, this is just going to be an interesting game to see how it plays out. I think this is going to be a back and forth game. And I really see this game going one of two ways. Either it's going to be a shootout where both defenses struggle or both defenses are going to play pretty well. And this is going to be a low scoring game. I'm actually more inclined to believe that this will be a lower scoring game simply just because I think both quarterbacks are going to struggle at first. They may improve in the second half, but since this is a new uh, territory for both of them, I think there's going to be mistakes made by both quarterbacks. I think Trevor's going to make more uh, despite this being a home game. And I think Justin Herbert and the Chargers are going to make uh, them pay in that regard. So as far as I see this game being played out, I think it's going to be a one position game when it's all said and done. I'm going to give the edge to the Chargers here. I'm going to say they win this one by the score of 23 to 17. Um, I think Justin Herbert is going to lead some drives late in that second half, probably late in the fourth quarter that are going to get them into position to score touchdowns. And I just don't think that Trevor Lawrence and that Jags offense are going to be able to do enough uh, despite being at home. So I think this is going to be a fun game though, none the least. And um, with two quarterbacks like this that are young and have a lot of potential to go, um, I don't think it's going to be like a death nail in the coffin for their individual careers. I think there's still a lot left uh, for these guys. They have a long way to go in their NFL career. But I'm going to give the edge to Justin Herbert and the Chargers, and I think they advance to a divisional round uh, after this weekend is settled and over with.